So you got your first yo-yo. Now what? In this video, we're going to teach you everything you need to know to get started learning tricks like this. Well, maybe not that exactly, but we will help you get through all the fundamentals so that you can start learning famous tricks like Rock the Baby, and from there you can move on to some of the most amazing tricks that have ever been done with a yo-yo. So the first question is, how do you get this loop on your finger? Well, actually, it's not this finger. In yo-yoing, we use our middle finger, but the answer should seem obvious. You just stick your finger right into the loop, but you don't want to do that because if it doesn't fit tight enough, this could happen. So here's what you can do. Start with this loop at the top of the string and then unwrap a couple of inches of string from the yo-yo. And then you want to take these strings and fold them over onto themselves so that it creates another loop. Take this loop and you want to feed it right through the loop at the top of the string. And then you want to stick your middle finger into that loop and then you can pull it tight. Now here's a tip. You can see on one side of the string there's two strings and on the other side there's just one. So what you want to do is you always want the double strings to be facing your ring finger, just like that. So now that the yo-yo's on your finger, you're ready to throw, but not quite yet. If you hold the yo-yo in your hand backwards, this could happen. What is this? So start with your palm facing up, and what you want is for the string to be going from your middle finger over the top of the yo-yo like this. That way, when the yo-yo's wound up tight, it'll still be able to roll off your hand nicely so you can get a straight throw. What you don't want is for the string to be going from your middle finger to the bottom of the yo-yo, because that's backwards, and we know what'll happen if you throw it that way. So once you've got the yo-yo on your finger and you're holding it the right way, you're ready to learn how to throw. So what you want to do is make a muscle, and then you're going to extend your arm, and as you extend it, you're going to let the yo-yo go. When it gets to the bottom of the string, you turn your hand over, give it a little tug, and then catch it when it comes back up. The reason you want to throw like this instead of just dropping the yo-yo is because you can get a lot more power, which means a lot more spin in your throw when you throw it that way, which means you can do better tricks. Now, even with your first throw, you may find that you're immediately running into problems. The most common problem for new players is that you hit the ground when you throw it. So if this is happening to you, one thing that you can do is you can try setting your hand, your opposite hand, at the same height of your belly button and slap your yo-yo hand into it when you throw, and that'll keep your yo-yo hand from going too low when you throw it. Now, if the yo-yo still hits the ground when you throw it that way, that means that your string is too long for your height and you need to adjust it. And so we've got a video that shows you how to do that, and you definitely want to check that out. Now, a second problem is that the yo-yo may not come back up when you pull on it. The most common reason for this is that you're not throwing the yo-yo hard enough so that when you tug on the string, it's not spinning fast enough for the string to get caught in the gap or to wind all the way back up. Now, the faster a yo-yo's spinning, the easier it's going to be for that yo-yo to wind back up. So if you want to add some more power to your throw, what you can do is lift your elbow and then drop it as you throw, and that'll help the yo-yo be spinning as fast as possible. Now, the second reason why this might be happening is you might be tugging the yo-yo up wrong. So what you don't want to do is raise your whole arm to try to get the yo-yo to come back up because that motion isn't fast enough. What you do want to do is give a little flick with your wrist to try to pop the yo-yo up three or four inches, and that gives the string enough slack so that the spin of the yo-yo can grab the string and wind the yo-yo back up. Now, if you're sure that your yo-yo is spinning fast enough and that you're pulling it up correctly, but it's still not coming back, you may have gotten what's called an unresponsive yo-yo, and this is especially likely if your yo-yo is made out of metal. Now, unresponsive yo-yos are designed to never come back, no matter how fast they're spinning or how you pull them up. So to get an unresponsive yo-yo to come back, you need to learn a trick that's called the bind. And we have videos that teach you how to bind, so you're going to want to check those out. At some point when you're learning how to yo-yo, you're going to need to wind the string back up. And there are fast ways to do this, and we teach you how to do that in other videos. But for now, it's not a bad idea to just learn to wind it in the conventional way. Now, with a lot of yo-yos, if you pull the string too tight while you're trying to wind it, the string will just spin around the axle, and the yo-yo won't wind up. So in most cases, you can get the string to wind if you just start off really lightly, and then eventually you'll see it wrap around the axle, and you can wind it all the way up. Now, if that doesn't work, there's another technique you can try. So what you're going to do is put your first finger over the gap of the yo-yo, and then take the string and wind over that finger one time, and then lift it up and wind under your finger three or four times, and you can wind pretty tight because you're holding the string with this first finger. And then you should be able to remove the string and wind the yo-yo up the rest of the way. 
If you can't wind the yo-yo even after that, you may need to wind under your finger several more times until you get it right. When you're yo-yoing long enough, one of the things you'll encounter is what yo-yoers call string tension and what some new players call spaghetti string. And spaghetti string is frustrating because it can cause all kinds of problems and it can make things really frustrating. Now there are tricks that are designed to help you quickly remove string tension, like UFO, and we've got videos on those and you can check those out. But if you're a new player, there's a really easy way to deal with string tension. What you do is you take the string off your finger and you let it hang and you can see that it naturally untwists itself and that removes most or all of the tension. So before you put the yo-yo back onto your finger, you wanna wind the yo-yo back up because if you put it back on your finger first, that will actually add tension back into the string. Now, string tension actually naturally builds up as you play with a yo-yo. And so one thing you can do to counteract the string tension is when you do wind a yo-yo back up, if you wind it in the reverse direction, so you're actually winding towards yourself, that will counteract that string tension so it'll be less of a problem. Now, the biggest problem that string tension can cause is that with some yo-yos, it can actually keep your yo-yo from sleeping. Now, that's not the only reason why a yo-yo might not sleep. And so we actually made a video that cover all the different reasons why this might happen. So if your yo-yo is not sleeping, you might want to check that video out. Another common problem that new players experience is that when their yo-yo sleeps, it's tilted or it's leaning or it's crooked. In no case is this the fault of the yo-yo. Even if it was wildly imbalanced, it wouldn't cause this to happen. In every case, it has to do with how you throw the yo-yo. So if a yo-yo is not spinning fast enough, it will have a greater tendency to lean. But in most cases, it just means that your throw is crooked. So if you want to make sure to have a straight throw, the first thing you should do is line up your shoulder, your elbow, and your wrist, and that'll help keep your throw straight. And a second thing is that a lot of new players have a tendency to turn their hand over too quickly. So if you turn your hand over while you throw the yo-yo, that'll cause it to lean and possibly even spin out. Now, if you are having a hard time keeping yourself from turning your hand over, you can use the technique we showed earlier where you slap your other hand like that, and that'll make sure that you don't turn your hand over while you throw. Now, another common problem that comes up is as you start to yo-yo, your finger will start to hurt because the string is constantly gripping it. Um, what happens over time is your finger will naturally build up a callus, which means that your skin will get thicker there to protect your finger and that'll stop it from hurting. But if you just wanna keep practicing and you don't wanna stop regardless of the pain, one thing that you can do is get yo-yo finger wrap and that'll help solve that problem as well. So one more tip to help you avoid some pain. As your throw improves, what you'll find is that the yo-yo is gonna come back faster and faster and eventually it's slamming into your hand can really hurt. So to keep that from happening, as the yo-yo comes back to your hand, just move your hand away from the yo-yo a little bit, and that'll cushion the blow. So remember, this is just the beginning. We've got all kinds of tricks on yoyotricks.com that you can learn. If you want to learn on the go, you can also download our app for Apple or Android devices. And once you've mastered the techniques in this video, really, the sky's the limit.